Hey everyone, question for you. Do you want to learn some tips and tricks that I've learned? Yes? Well, come on along. So hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. I'm hoping that you guys are doing well. I have to tell you how much I love chatting with you guys in the comments. I feel like I have made so many best friends. I've never met you guys and um, it's just really cool. You get to see me in my home. I only get to read and connect with you via the comments, but I have so enjoyed Many of you have shared recipes and or just tips. Someone gave me, and I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so bad with remembering. I've read the comment, and usually I'm then often running to work or whatever, and I need to start writing down who told me these tips. But I don't remember. But the tip on the turnip, how to cook turnip in the microwave, you saved my life. I cannot wait. I'll be trying that out on Wednesday. And um, I probably will do a video on that for those that we call it wax turn up. I know there's another name, but I'll bring you along and show you whether it works or it doesn't work or what worked for me, what didn't work. But thank you so much for that tip. I know somebody else is sharing a meatball recipe with me. Yes, thank you. And I have a few emails I have to read. Colleen, I know you've been sending me pictures of your stockpile. Yes, I love it. And Colleen, can I uh, take a, you know, save that photos of your um, stockpile and show our viewers? Would you mind? I don't want to be, you know, um, intruding on anything. But if you want to let me know in the comments or shoot me an email back to say, go ahead and share your pictures are great. I would love to show people some alternative stockpiles. So um, let me know. That would be great. So I know that's Colleen Jan from New York City. You and I have been connecting in many levels. It's been interesting just meeting people and finding out, you know, things we have in common. And, and yeah, she knows what I mean. It's been awesome. I love it. So here's some tips that I'm going to share with you guys. So holidays are coming up. And lots of things need to happen during the holidays. Okay, so now listen, family of one, family of two, family of three or more, these tips will help you no matter what. So one of the things that I had been working on is my mushroom powder. And I did this, this was a 24 ounce package that you buy at Costco, you know, the big box. And you say, well, I'm a family of one. What am I going to do with that? No problem. I dehydrated 24 ounces of mushrooms. And it looks like this. This is exactly, this is a Pioneer Woman bowl. So it's a cereal bowl, not too big. That's 24 ounces of mushrooms. So you can see they're all dehydrated. They're all chopped up and dehydrated. And I will crush them down in my blender to look like this. Why is it any good? So the other day, if you didn't catch my video, I did a impromptu taco bake that I pulled together with pantry items and I sprinkled some of the mushroom powder in there. I don't like mushrooms. Don't really like the taste. They're too earthy for me. Definitely don't like the texture. Got texture issues. So does my son. But mushrooms are very healthy for you. Now, is this and this as good as eating fresh mushrooms? No. Is this and this better for you than not eating mushrooms at all? Yes. So I'm still trying to get vitamins and nutrients into us, even if we don't like certain things. So mushroom powder. My husband made tuna fish the other day, and he said he sprinkled some mushroom powder in his tuna fish and then made a tuna sandwich. He said it just brought it up right, right up another notch. He said, tell your viewers, add mushroom powder to their tuna fish, and it was delicious. So listen, gravy, soups, stews, anything, just add mushroom powder. So that's one tip that go ahead, dehydrate your mushrooms, lay them on a cookie sheet if you don't have a dehydrator. You don't even need parchment paper, but if you have that, I think that would work better. Put them on a cookie sheet, turn your oven to the lowest setting you have. 
leave that on for an hour to two hours, letting them dehydrate, then turn your oven off and just let them sit in that hot oven until the morning and they will be dehydrated for you. Then you could crush them down in your blender or you can just leave them like this also. You can see that, let's see if I can show you a little bit better there. You can just leave them like that if you like the mushrooms and add them to soups and stews and they will rehydrate. Okay, that's one tip. Another tip is now with the holidays coming, you're probably looking at some of the stores and shopping and so on. Don't discard, this is from Lidl. This is a catalog and there is a coupon on the back, but this is a full catalog of stuff. So what do they have in it? My mom saves these for me. She gets them in the mail because she's closer than I am. But they show you some of the things that they're selling and, and ways that you can cook them and the prices. Lots of great recipes are in here that you can get. This is a free catalog. Now, when I go to the Dollar Tree, you can get some great uh, catalogs and magazines there and you pay a dollar. This pumpkin pie truffles. I saw that. That looks kind of interesting. So what's in that? Lidl's Preferred Bourbon Vanilla and Chocolate Bar. So they must sell some chocolate bars. So I'll have to check that out. Ginger Snap Cookies. Cream Cheese Sugar. Pumpkin Pie Spice. Cinnamon Salt. Coconut Oil. And some more chocolate. I'll have to try that one. That looks pretty good. But they have all kinds of stuff in here. They just show you how to make ham and apples. And I'm telling you, this is free. Let me show you this real quick. <gasps> just passed it up. Sorry. Hang on there with me. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. Okay. So they show you on the back. They sell cookies like this. Let's see if I can get you. They sell these cookies here at Lidl's. But you can get those in other stores as well. And um, they look like, like little Dutch houses. Well, you can make your houses with that. Look at that. So if you yourself want to be able to make just a couple little gingerbread houses to put, you know, somewhere, there you go. So don't discard that. Okay. You know what this is? This is, you know, the bag to get from cereal. Now, when I first got married, they were much thicker and denser. They were a much nicer bag. They're gotten a little cheesy these days, but... See this bag? I even have a little bit of cereal left in it. What I do is I don't even rinse them because it was food that was already in it, but I will dump them out really good and usually just take a paper towel and sort of shake it, you know, upside down over the garbage can to make sure it's clean. You know what I save these for? And I haven't done it for a long time and I'm getting back into it. Freezer bags. Yes. These cereal bags, someone told me many, many years ago when I first got married, you know, you get your cereal in a box, and most of us, not everybody, but um, whether you dump it out initially into a container, you know, an airtight container and put it in your pantry, or you just keep your cereal in a box, most of us throw these bags out. No, 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 no. Save them. So when you, if you don't have like a vacuum sealer, where you take the meat out and you vacuum seal it and you get like, you know, if you want to do a little bit of stockpiling of meat, you take this or you have vegetable, anything, anything you want to freeze, but you want to have like extra protection from freezer burn, use this, put your item in here, fold it over, however you need to do it. You can use masking tape to close it up. I find the better way to do it would be to roll the item up like so. And then I use rubber bands and you can stick it in the freezer. But these make fantastic freezer bags. Okay, another tip. Got this little light. And this was actually from the Dollar Tree. And it's a work light. You're looking for a stocking stuffer or you're looking for a gift. You can't afford much this Christmas. This would be great for anyone. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn it on. But it's super. I don't know if that's even going to show as well as it should on camera but this thing is so bright it's hurting my eyes and then we've got the light right there so let's see if i can turn that away a little bit and then it turns off and we're gonna turn that back on let's see if i turn it yeah you're not really seeing too much but look at my hand see how much it's lighting up my hand 
And then we got this one again. Listen, this is great. I don't remember, it requires three AA batteries that are not included. So you give somebody this gift with the batteries, you got a stocking stuffer, you're doing a grab bag. I'm telling you, this light is fantastic. How many people, you need a light going in the basement, the fuse box goes out, power went out, you need a light right next to your bed, power goes out. You need a light walking the dog at night. You want to put a light in your car. It's got a handle. It stands on its own. It's got a nice stand. It's got a handle. I picked this up for a dollar. I said, I'll try it. I don't even know if it's worth it. I'm going back. I'm picking up several. These are going to make some great stocking stuffers from added gifts. Some just, you know, every day somebody comes to mind, I'm going to give it to, especially somebody elderly. It's a very lightweight, extremely lightweight, perfect just to stick on a shelf, your nightstand, top of the refrigerator, the light. You've got this one, you've got this one. Break down at night, you gotta change the tire. You can set this up, you're in good shape. So I just wanted to let you know, I had showed that on one of my Dollar Tree hauls and we've recently just put the batteries in it and my husband said, you've got to let them know. Go and snag that at the Dollar Tree. Okay. Another thing, I had a couple people ask me, were these any good? I picked these up at Trader Joe. I know you don't all have a Trader Joe by you, but if you do, I want to say it was like $2.97. I don't honestly remember, but let me show you how it comes. So this is the package here, and then you get your jelly, and you get, these are little um, cookies, like, and they're stuffed with peanut butter. And you dip your peanut butter cookie into the jelly. If you are a peanut butter and a, a peanut butter or a PB and J fan, as we call it, we all love our PB and J around here. I don't know if that's a New Jersey term or other people use PB and J, but these from Trader Joe's are a must. They're fantastic. So expiration date. Let me just see how long would these these little puppies last. So this is till August of 2022. So that's about about a year, the last on the shelf. Stockpile, you know, power goes out. You can't feed the kids because there's no electric. You can always whip out your PB&Js like this. Not only can you make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich when the power goes out, but when the power is out and you need those things to sort of, even for yourself, a little comfort, a little kind of like something extra, this is something fun. This is great in a backpack. I brought, twice now, I've brought these to work. Two o'clock in the afternoon, that, uh, what was it called? Wake Up Winter Tea that I got at Trader Joe's that I showed on my Trader Joe haul. Brought that to work. Let me tell you, it was so good. The tea is delicious. I brought it in, my coworkers are going crazy. Remember how I kept sniffing the box because the tea smelled so good? All my coworkers keep walking by grabbing the box and they have to sniff, they like it. So I have that in the afternoon with some tea, it's wonderful. The other thing I wanted to share with you, Cracker Barrel Pancake Mix. I'm sorry for that lighting on there. So we went to a Cracker Barrel up by my sister and I, first time I've ever had their pancakes, they wowed me. I was thrilled, absolutely, positively, the best pancakes I've ever eaten. Cracker Barrel. And of course they give you the warm syrup. So we bought a kit and we got the pancake mix and we got the pancake syrup. I think it was like $12.95 in the kit. And I brought it home and my sister said, well, are the pancakes as good from the box? You know, nothing's ever as good as when you get it in the store. And I told her this, and I have it in a Ziploc by the way, because another just idea, I don't have enough containers, air tight containers. So just put it in a Ziploc to help protect, protect it against any little critters, mice, or anything like that. We're about halfway through the box already. Um, but this tastes the same as, as if you went into the store. The little ends of the pancakes actually crisp up. Same exact flavor. So if you're looking to, if you like Cracker Barrel and you're looking for a great gift for someone, I would highly recommend it's $12.95. It's not super expensive. I know that might be out of some people's budget, but if it's within your budget, 
$1.95. And you have, it's a great gift for someone. So if you're looking to give someone a gift, I like to do something that they don't necessarily get a knickknack. They have to find something, you know, a, a spot on the shelf for. You want to give them a practical gift, but something they probably would not buy for themselves. This pancake mix and pancake syrup is fantastic. So highly recommend it. Sometimes you go someplace and you try something and it's not the same and you get home and you're disappointed, you will not be disappointed with that. So practical tips, practical things. You're looking to give somebody a fun gift. Who doesn't like PB&J? Smack a bow on that, put a little note, you're good to go. This one, definitely a tip I would go with for a dollar. Get the batteries. Great tip. Listen, what a neat idea. Maybe pull together for Christmas some mushrooms and carrots and whatever you want to do. Dehydrate them, grind them down into a powder and get, you know, four little containers of different powders. Things that people could add to gravy, soups, and stews. What a great practical gift. I love practicality. I'm a practical girl. I'm a black and white girl. It is, either it is or it isn't. That's it. And I love practical gifts. My kids get mad at me because when Christmas comes, what do you want, Mom? I need a toaster. No, 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 no. My daughter-in-law is like, Mom, you need jewelry. You need pretty, I, I don't know. I, I need a toaster. That's what I want. So I love getting practical gifts. I love getting like, somebody gave me Cracker Barrel Pancake Mix. I would be thrilled with that. I know other people aren't. I hope these tips are helpful. Thanks for coming along. I got stockpile stuff coming up this week. I have a problem majorly with my stockpile. I'll have to share that with you on the next video.